Then you've got Nikita Krylov against Paul Craig in the 205 pound light heavyweight division. Now, Paul Craig, he's coming in as an underdog again. Right? What does he have to do to get the bookies respect at this point? Like, what? How many people does he have to absolutely murder on the ground before Paul Craig gets some goddamn respect from those bookmakers? You bookmakers make me sick. No, you don't. You don't make me sick because I like Paul Craig in this fight. Look, don't get me wrong, Krylov is no joke. 26 and 8, he's dropped a few by submission, which could be a problem when you're fighting Paul Craig because Paul Craig is a submission beast. He's just an absolute animal when it goes to the ground he, he's so technical and so good but also just brutal he will pull your arm off like it, it, he'll take it with him he has no problems doing that and uh look, he lo look Krylov he lost to Ankalaev no shame in that he lost to Chera Yan Serkinov by submission what I'm saying what I'm getting at here is that look Krylov is by no means unbeatable I don't and I don't really think he should be coming in as a, as a favourite here. Because Craig, he's got a slightly better record. And Paul Craig, is, he's got some of the most brutal grappling I have ever seen. He even beat Magomed Ankalaev. Don't forget that. Don't forget, Paul Craig beat Magomed Ankalaev. Well, he was... Ankalaev was winning that whole fight, but then Paul Craig, literally at 4.59 in the final round of the fight, manages to get a triangle and manages to get the submission. That's how good his grappling is. And his grappling means that he is never out of a fight. So, for me, the fact that Paul Craig is plus five, four to one against to get the submission is a goddamn farce. Like, it, it, like the, there's other fighters on the card where they're like, where they're approaching kind of like, Gunnar Nelson is less than even money to get the submission. Like, I'm not saying it should be less than even money, but it shouldn't be four to one for Paul Craig to do what Paul Craig basically always does more more often than not. So yeah, for me, plus five on the submission, Paul Craig. That is an absolute bargain. There is so much value in that bet right there. These bets are all terrible, and I always say that, but there is at least a fuck ton of value in that bet. You should not be getting those odds on Paul Craig to do what Paul Craig specialises in, in a fight that Paul Craig should win. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, Craig's on a tear, man. He's tearing through people, plus five, submission. That's going on on the uh, on the bet slip. And 